It was a cold day and we had gusty winds as well, especially overnight early this morning with Phil a peak gust at 51 miles per hour. Rono clocked in at 43 miles an hour winds over 30 miles per hour in Danville, Blacksburg and in Lynchburg and some sporadic power outages with these gusty winds that did roll on through still a little bit busy in terms of the winds out there for tonight. Look at the temperatures. Dipping down into the 30s to near 40 degrees in most locations, even 28 degrees in Hot Springs right now, 35 in Danville, now 31 degrees, 35 degrees in Blacksburg. And look at the wind gusts here right now, up to 15 miles an hour in Roanoke. We're gusting up to 21 in Hot Springs, so that means we're talking about wind chills tonight. Look at the frigid digits on the map. It feels like 14 degrees in Hot Springs, so very winter-like out there compared to 60 degrees this time yesterday. 25 degrees is what it feels like in Blacksburg, 31 in Danville, and 38 degrees in Lynchburg. Satellite radar shows that we have that lake effect snow machine going on through Pennsylvania, upstate New York, several inches of snow for them. But for us, we're too far away from the Great Lakes, so we're seeing a few of those clouds retreating now back into the mountains. So mostly clear out there, still busy with that wind, but high pressure off to our west with clear skies, the Ohio and Tennessee River Valley. Yeah, we're tracking high pressure moving overhead for tomorrow, bringing plenty of sunshine. But for tonight, it's cold and blustery. 21 degrees or low in Hot Springs, down to 29 in Danville. 31 degrees by tomorrow morning in Roanoke and 26 in Hillsville. So for tomorrow, there's that big blue H high pressure, our friend, bringing nothing but sunshine and seasonable temperatures. Coming up to 54 degrees for your high. Just a beauty out there for tomorrow near normal. And then a cold front approaches here by our Tuesday. Spills in a few clouds, but with high pressure moving offshore, that clockwise spin brings a milder flow of air. Look at the number bouncing back up to 60 degrees. And if you're traveling on Wednesday, notice we are tracking a weak wave of low pressure moving offshore here by early Wednesday morning. So if you're traveling along the mid Atlantic coastline from New York, also towards Virginia Beach, the Outer Banks, maybe some showers early on Wednesday, but that's a fast moving low pressure. It pulls away by midday and much of the eastern seaboard back to the Mississippi River Valley. Clear skies looking good for travel. So your planner for tomorrow cold to start off 34 degrees. Grab the heavy coats 43 degrees by 11. Bright sunshine all day long 54 degrees for a Monday. Here's your extended forecast for Tuesday. Partly sunny 60 degrees mid 50s for Wednesday. Partly cloudy skies and notice by our Thanksgiving a little bit cooler behind a cold front. We're at 48 degrees but sunny overnight lows into the upper 20s and lower 30s. So if you are going shopping, standing in those lines Thursday night, early Friday morning, Bundle up for Black Friday, sun soaked 55 degrees and 57 by our Saturday. More clouds spill in with another Arctic front punching through for oh. Sunday. It's gusty with temperatures only into the 40s. So it looks like we'll will be dry mm. for the week. So that's good news. <laughs> so if you're there's traveling. a positive. <laughs>